Yo, yo, this your boy OG, the old goat, and this is your podcast. This vlog is about Big Baby Davis. Man, he just can't catch a break, man. It's like always something, bro. And it's crazy because he just got caught, like, he just got out of his, you know, his situation, like, you know, a couple of years ago, like, a year or two ago. And now, this situation right now, he's getting, you know what I'm saying, he pretty much got arrested. You know what I'm saying? He's, you know, he's he's facing some time. He's facing 3.5 years in prison for fraud. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't the smartest thing. Like, me purposely, you know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, you know what I'm saying? I, I me, myself, I would even, you know what I'm saying, still from the NBA. That's stupid. Like, come on, man. Like, first of all, you was getting, you, was, you, got, you got all that money from the NBA. Then you getting, you know, you get your little, you know, your little retirement, little checks from the NBA and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, you're making money off of Big Three. Let's just say NBA stops paying, right? You started playing with the Big Three. So it's like, where are you utilizing that money? Are you investing your money right? See, a lot of times... A lot of NBA players go broke after the NBA because they do not know how to utilize their money. They do not know how to invest their money. And it's sad because it's just like, you know, they get caught up in situations like this. You know, get caught up, you know, get caught gambling their money. They get caught scamming the system. They get caught, uh, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, doing all types of legal acts from it. And I don't blame them because, like, at the same time, they so used to getting that money. When they stop getting that money, it's like they don't know what to do. But I still do blame them because it's like, bro, like, you had all that money. You could have invested in some stocks. You could have said, yo, let me let me put this in the ETF. I mean, let me collect my dividends and just chill out for the rest of my life. Hell, you could have been the black on Warren Buffett. You know what I'm saying? But you wasn't thinking. You was probably thinking about fast money. You know what I'm saying? You seen fast money come with other individuals. You seen other individuals getting a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happens when you when you in that life. You know what I'm saying? That NBA life is kind of like to me personally, it's, it's a fast life. It's the glitz, the glamour, the you know what I'm saying? You see everybody with that money. See people get more money than you. You like, oh damn, I damn, I want to get more money than this nigga. And you see this um person get more money quicker than that person so it's just like it's all it all factors into you know say greed at the end of the day because a lot of people get greedy a lot of people you know what I'm saying lose sight of their goals and it's it's clear you know what I'm saying big babies lost sight of his you know what I'm saying of what you know he lost sight you know what I'm saying me personally I feel like he got caught up he really got caught up because this is nasty where I'm like I'm like not big baby I'm like, yo, come on. And then he just got out of a situation not too long ago. So it's just like, my man just can't catch a break. Man, and he was trying to scam the NBA. That's And that's one thing, like, you know what I'm saying? He could have did anything. He could have scammed anybody. But the NBA, bro, NBA don't play that. They ain't very meticulous. They, they're, like, pretty much they on it. So if you try to scam the NBA, huh? You you know what I'm saying? Just get ready to uh, put on them cuffs uh, by yourself and take your ass to the jail. You know what I'm saying? Take your ass to prison because you get locked up, my boy. You get locked up for real, man. Man, you know what I'm saying? And, he, and it's crazy because he was playing in the big three, playing in the big three. He was getting a nice check. You know what I'm saying? And that check is it's not NBA money. Let's be real. It's not NBA money, but it's substantial money that you can live off of. You know what I'm saying? Let's like let's just say a normal any average person living in you know living out in New York or just living in period. You take an average person that's living and you give them a big three salary, they're living all right. They're living pretty much above their means. You know what I'm saying? They're living somewhat comfortable and they could reinvest their money and and, and and you know what I'm saying, make a future. You know what I'm saying? Like but yeah, listen, you know what I'm saying? I can't speak for anybody, uh, everybody's situation. He probably was dealing with a, a different situation. Who knows? 
You know what I'm saying? But I do know scamming the NBA is not the route. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, anyone should take, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? He could be facing a lot more time. You know what I'm saying? 3.5 is just, you know what I'm saying, the, I, I believe the minimum right now he could be facing. But, you know what I'm saying? Let's pray for Big Baby Davis. Let's pray that he gets through this. But man, oh man, he wasn't thinking at all. You know what I'm saying? And you know that great saying, once you make your bed, you lie in it. So, you know what I'm saying? You made your bed, so now you got to lie in it. But definitely let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. Definitely let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. This is your boy OG. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.